a very good morning children daddy is making dinner this is a poem so the poem's name is daddy is making dinner so what do you mean by dinner dinner means that food that we eat at night and who is making dinner here it's daddy is making dinner you usually see that your mother is cooking food right but fathers also can cook food doesn't mean that fathers can't cook food in big restaurants you can see men cooking food and they are called chefs so boys you can also help your mother and sister in the kitchen so today we are going to learn about a poem named daddy is making dinner and this poem is written by jeffrey mondack so he is a poet who has written the poem daddy is making dinner so who is a poet one who writes a poem is called a poet so here jeffrey mondack is a poet who has written daddy is making dinner now in this poem the poet says how his father is making dinner so now let's see the poem daddy is making dinner so here you can see that daddy is making dinner that means daddy is making dinner it's written in a short form daddy is making dinner so what happens the poet narrates the incidents that happens when daddy is cooking dinner for him and you know what all happens usually he sees that when his father cooks food the french fries are black and burnt and the food spilt the meat loaf spilt on the floor the sugar bowl broke it fell down and it broke and fido their dog came and ate the gravy that fell down and the house was filled with smoke so these all incidents happen when the poet's father goes into the kitchen for cooking so in spite of all these things the poet is happy he doesn't have any complaints you know why because he know he's going his father is going to pick the pick up the phone and order a pizza for him so he says that it's his lucky day when his father gets into the kitchen so now let's move on to our chapter daddy is making dinner so you can open your text page number 38 daddy is making dinner so you can see in this it's written daddy apostrophe s that means daddy is making dinner so it's written in a short form here we have the first warm up activity tick the things used for cooking so some things are here mentioned and we need to tick the things that are used for cooking you can see fridge knives stove some utensils a water bottle and a mortar so what all things are used for cooking you can tick the things that are used now moving on to our poem page number 39 the poet's father is making dinner let us read to find out what happens to the food so the poet's father is making food that is is preparing dinner and so let's find out what is going to happen daddy is making dinner i have seen it all before french fries black and burning and meat loaf on the floor so what it is happening daddy is making dinner i have seen it all before that poet is saying that i have seen it all before whenever father gets into the kitchen i have seen many things happening so what all things he has seen french fries black and burning you all love french fries right but when the poet's father makes french fries how is it it's black and burning it's burnt and meat loaf on the floor so what do you mean by meat loaf it's a baked dish made of meat and what happened to the meat loaf that fell on the floor so what all happens when his father cooks food the french fries are burnt and it turns into black color and the meat loaf fell on the floor moving on to the second stanza daddy is making dinner the sugar bowl just broke fido ate the gravy the house has filled with smoke so now what happened when daddy is making dinner the sugar bowl just broke the sugar bowl that was on the cabin what happened to it that fell down and it broke into pieces now fido is their dog 
But what did Fido do? Fido came and ate the gravy. So what do you mean by gravy? It's a thick sauce. You know, we say that whatever what a gravy is. So it's a thick sauce. And who came to eat that when it fell down? Fido, their dog, came to eat the gravy. And also something else happened. What happened? The house has filled with smoke. Now the house is fully filled with smoke when these french fries are burnt and black in color. So the house is filled with smoke. So these all things are happening when the poet's father is cooking food. So what all things are happening? When his father is cooking food, he sees that the french fries are black and burning and the meatloaf fell on the floor. And also the sugar bowl broke, fell down and broke into pieces and Fido, their dog, came for eating the gravy and the house was filled with smoke. Moving on to the next page, page number 40. So here we have the third stanza. Daddy is making dinner, but I am not one to mourn. Soon he will surrender and go pick up the phone. So what he, here it is, the poet says, the daddy is making dinner, but I am not one to mourn. Mourn here means to complain. The Poet has no problem. He doesn't have any complaint. Why you know? Because he knows that soon his father will give up and he's going to pick up the phone. So what is written here? Dad is making dinner, but I am not one to mourn, but I am not going to complain when dad is making dinner because soon his father will give up because all these things are happening and after these things, the daddy will get fed up and he will go and pick up his phone. Fourth paragraph, Daddy made the dinner. Today is my lucky day. Dinners in the trash can and pizzas on the way. So what happened to the food that Daddy made? Daddy made the dinner. Now before Daddy was cooking and all kinds of things happened. Now what happened? Daddy already made the dinner. Today is my lucky day. Now the poet is saying that today is my lucky day because father made the dinner. Why? dinners in the trash can. A trash can means dustbin. So all that is made is put in the dustbin. Why? Because it's not good. And what did his father do? In the third stanza we saw that father will soon surrender and go pick up the phone and he has ordered the pizza. So dinners in the trash can and pizzas on the way. That means pizza is coming. So father has ordered Pizza for the poet. So that's all about this. Here the poet's father makes dinner and the poet says that father has made burnt french fries and the sugar bowl fell on the floor and broke into pieces and the thick gravy which was in that Fido ate it. So at last the poet's father surrenders and picks up the phone and orders for pizza. So the poet is saying that it is his lucky day when his father made the dinner. So this is all about daddy is making dinner. So we'll read it once more. You can look at page number 39. Daddy is making dinner. I have seen it all before. French fries black and burning and meatloaf on the floor. Daddy is making dinner. The sugar bowl just broke. Fido ate the gravy. The house has filled with smoke. Next page, third stanza. Daddy is making dinner, but I am not one to mourn. Soon he will surrender and go pick up the phone. Daddy made the dinner. Today is my lucky day. Dinners in the trash can and pizzas on the way. So you can see the name of the poet written at the end of the poem. It is written by Jeffrey Mondak. So hope you all understood the poem and enjoyed reading the poem. So read the poem two times and we'll move on to the exercise. So here you can see the first one dash in the bracket mommy or daddy was making dinner. So who was making dinner? Is it mommy or daddy? So tick the correct option there. Second question the dash were burning in the bracket it's given french fries or Potato chips. So what were burning? Is it french fries or potato chips? So take the correct option and write it down. The third one, the dash gravy bowl or meat loaf was on the floor. Fourth one, 
the dash rice bowl or sugar bowl broke so which one broke write it down fifth one dash fido dido ate the gravy so who ate the gravy now let's check the answers so here daddy was making dinner second one the dash french fries or potato chips were burning it's the french fries the third one the dash was on the floor it is meat loaf the fourth one the dash rice ball or sugar ball broke so which one broke the sugar ball broke the fifth one fido ate the gravy so hope you all have done it correctly now let's move on to your next exercise write the rhyming words used in the poem add one more to each row so what are rhyming words we have already learned what are rhyming words rhyming words are words that end with the same sound for example cat bat they end with the same sound the last sound are the same so they are rhyming words now we have to pick up some rhyming words from the poem if you look at the poem you can see in the first stanza dad is making dinner i have seen it all before french fries black and burning and meat loaf on the floor usually in poems the sentence ends with the rhyming words so here you can see i have seen it all before and meat loaf on the floor the last words are before floor so they are rhyming words in the second stanza also you can see the sugar bowl just broke and in the fourth line you can see the house has filled with smoke so the last words are broke smoke they end with the same sound so broke smoke are rhyming words so you can find out rhyming words like this when you read concentrate on the rhyming words also so here you have to write the rhyming words and you can add one more to this pair so let's see before floor that is already given in our poem so you can write one more here shore is written you can think and write one more the second it's broke smoke and poke it's also a rhyming word with these words the third one mourn phone sown fourth one day way hey these are the rhyming words now let's check answer these questions so for this you can take down your notebook write the date and the chapter heading dad is making dinner and write down the question the first question what has the poet seen before so what is the question what has the poet seen before write question number 1 write the write down the question and in the next line write answer and you can write it so the answer is the poet has seen his father trying to make dinner before the second question what happens to the food that daddy had cooked the food daddy had cooked is thrown in the dustbin the third question why does the poet think that it is a lucky day so write down the third question and in the next line write answer the poet thinks that it is his lucky day because he is sure that his father would order a pizza in the end so moving on to the fourth question what does daddy do in the end daddy gives up trying to make dinner and orders a pizza so these are the question answers to be written in the notebook now let's move to writing look at the pictures find the names of these fruits in the word grid so some names of fruits are given in this you have to find out the names of fruits for example a p p l e is apple so you can circle it some more names of fruits are given so sir, find out the names of fruits and then you have something to write write five sentences using the names of these fruits so what you have to write first you have to find out the fruits from this and with those fruits names of those fruits you have to write five sentences suppose it's about apple you can write 
an apple a day keeps a doctor away in the same way you can write five sentences about this fruits so that is an activity for you in the next page you, you can see help the mouse reach the cheese use a color pencil so you can see a mouse and a cheese what you have to do you have to find out the way help the mouse reach the cheese use a color pencil to find out this and in the end you have my word bank write the new words that you have learned in this poem so when you are going through the poem what all new words you come across you can write it in your word bank here so with this we finish this chapter dad is making dinner hope you all are understood the poem we'll be meeting in the next class with another new chapter till then thank you